Hello guys, welcome back to a new episode of Dead Space. Part 3 today, my name is Chi, thank you for clicking on this video, I hope you have a nice day. Part 1 and part 2 were awesome, I have to be honest, very scary, very exciting to play. And I'm looking forward myself to part 3, so here we go guys. Alright, here we go. Holy shit. That's some serious thing. I don't see anything on the screen. Take cover to detonate. Alright, hold on. Let me see. I don't think it matters. You know, I'm gonna stand uh, here. Ah, shit. Oh my god. For a moment I thought I still had the stasis stuff, but it didn't work. Because I see I still have it. Man, that was scary. Oh, this is so gross. See this, guys. What the hell? And here, man. Remember, when you reach the morgue, find Captain Matthias's body. Get his rig codes, and the computer's all ours. Plasma cutter upgrade. Okay, we have to bring this to the bench to improve the weapons and gear. Great. It's the first upgrade, so uh, I don't know what I can expect from it. Triage. Oh boy. People were uh, killed here. Security clearance required. Looks safe inside. It's the emergency room. Shit, who's that? It's a hologram. Looks like Nicole, isn't it? Loop and transmit to all personnel. This is senior medical officer Nicole Brennan. Medical is overwhelmed. We need help. Look at his wounds. We can't handle so many trauma cases, and the command crew won't tell us what's happening. Oh, Shit. Maybe I have some cage we left. Uh, before I'm gonna do that, I first want to look around. I mean, maybe there is some stuff we can uh, take with us. Like this, for example. But man, I was right. That is Nicole. Not sure what they were doing uh, on that patient. Security clearance required. There's so much wrong in this place. I don't know exactly what they were doing. But uh, I think it wasn't only mining what they were supposed to do, I guess. A patient observations, a medical log. Harris is asleep after another dose of sedative. He seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after more than 50 hours of waking. Regardless of circumstances. Not Harris. His bizarre explanation of the events on the colony points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere, planet side. His guilt is not in doubt. Two security officers were present when he took Dr. 
Squarello hostage at murdered nurse Evans. And Harris doesn't deny his actions. But he shows no remorse. In fact, he insists it was no crime. Specifically that Evans wasn't a nurse when he killed her. This is classic sociopathic behavior. But Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He is affable and friendly. Able to empathize and offer original opinions. When questioned about Evans' murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and un communicative. He claims the explanation is stuck in his mind and that talking about it mixes up its message. He also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory periods, again similar to those experienced by other colonists. During his long waking periods, Harris exhibits writing behavior on any available surface, claiming the dreams need to speak and that he's attempting to make it whole again. What that means, I haven't determined yet. Given the complexities of his case, I plan to reach out to my colleagues for more insight. Oh my god. So I guess this is about that patient that was lying on that, uh, on that bed. Patient Harris B, employee number uh, something. So he was dreaming about something and on every surface he wrote something to, uh, to explain what he was dreaming about. I mean, we have seen a lot of things written uh, with blood on the walls. Maybe some of them were from him. I don't know. I think we got everything, right, guys? What's this? I think this is just replaying that thing again. To remove the battery, ensure no power is being used on the circuit breaker. Here it is. Shit. Oh my god, no! Let's hide here. Come on, I try to do this. Holy shit, this is crazy. I'm almost dead. Oh, how convenient. Some medical kits. Oh, that was actually very close, guys. Level 2, security clearance required. Oh my god. Hold on, I have to check something. I've tried to do this twice and twice it didn't work out for some reason. I don't know why, but I wanted to slow them down. Here we go. Like, literally everyone is dead. Or when they aren't dead yet, they die at the moment we arrive. Or they're transformed in a necromorph or some other creature. And me being here without any medical kits isn't something I really like, to be honest. And now we're also out of the stasis module. Reservoir. Holy shit. We have zero bullets with the rifle.
Man, this place. I actually really like the way they designed everything. Very scary, you know, very... Security request retrieved. He left me. I woke in the dark with them scratching in the walls. Scratching like rats. And you will lock me in with them. Fuck it. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. <laughs> Find the captain's body. Before we go in there, I first want to see if uh, some resources are here. Like the health we just picked up. I'm sure what that... Oh my god! Oh shit! There's one behind me! No! Fuck hell! Oh, I saw his tentacles behind me. That's why I knew. I was literally just in time. A couple of seconds later and uh, he uh, would have hit me. Great, some notes for upgrades. Mercer, the scared kind. You were in surgery, so I left this with Warwick. He'll be discreet. I just got the latest report from Aegis 7. The situation's worse than Captain Matthias will admit. 40% of the colony's population is now showing symptoms. Depression, hallucinations, more violence. People are dying down there. I know it's linked to the marker somehow, but I just don't have enough data. Or sir, maybe I was wrong. We need answers by any means possible. That patient, Fred Harris, might be our last hope. This is an oxygen recharge, uh device but we're uh, full so we don't need that yeah they've been talking the whole time about uh, those markers and uh, I've read a little bit about them and uh, so far we uh, haven't really read about it uh, in the game yet that will probably come on later on Is that Nicole? Hell oh, no, Nicole. Why are you doing that? Ah, oh, shit. No way. That's not Nicole, right? This looks like a... Is this a... Hologram or is this something that just really happened? Because to me this blood here looks really real. I think it's just something that really happened. She should have uh, waited. I mean I'm her uh, saver, right? Maybe we could have joined, co-opt to get out of this place. Hey great, stasis recharge. I was looking for that. Level two security clearance required. Yeah, but those markers are some uh, very. Uh... I I don't know exactly what it is. I can't explain it, so I'm not gonna do it. Okay, we're heading to the more guys. What the fuck is this? Ah shit, we can't run here. What is it doing? What is it doing? Is it that? Ah shit, I used all my stasis. Hold on, I'm going back to recharge that at least. Sorry for the inconvenience. But it's actually very handy to have that stuff uh, recharged. Okay, 
And I saw the energy uh, device on the floor. It's just here. We're going down. Wonder to which floor? Oh, we're on floor one now, guys. Out of the six floors uh, there are on this ship. Ah, shit, this is the morgue, right? Caution. Cadaver storage capacity exceeded. What happened here? Oh my god. And something is moving. Hey, what's that? Credits. Yeah, they really did a great job making things scary. Mysterious uh, looking. I mean, see this room here. It's crazy, right? I'm playing it with headphones. I uh, really advise you guys doing that too. You're gonna play this game. Hey, that's the captain. He must be the captain. Hold on, what is he doing? Holy shit, what the fuck is that? We haven't seen... Something like that before. What the fuck? Oh, that's how they transform. Oh my god. Shit, it's still moving. What the fuck? And that thing is still moving outside. Clear the morgue. Shit. No way. Try to cut off the legs at least. Oh shit, another one, no way! Oh my god! Please cut his legs off, please. The thing is, by the way, super fast. Oh my god, it's still moving. Will you stop, please? Guys, what the hell did we just experience here? So it still surprises me that we didn't die. That was some pretty uh, intense moment. Okay, let's see what the captain has for us. Captain's rig. Isaac, what's your status? Do you have the captain's rig? Fuck me! Ugh. Transmitting codes now. I saw it, Hammond. A flying one turned the captain's body into a, another one of those things. The same must have happened to Chen. God. Maybe the command computer has something. Uh, where's Daniels when you need her? Head back to the security checkpoint. It's safer there. At least I can upgrade your clearance. OK, 
Okay guys, we're going back. Security clearance is now level 1. Your security clearance has increased. Higher clearance doors and lockers are now accessible. Finally. So we have access to level 1. And I've seen some that are locked with level 2. So we're still not yet there. Regarding the clearance level then. But we're getting somewhere. Ah oh, shit, what's this? Isaac. I'm here. What the hell's happening? The computer says the Ishimura's engines are offline. We're on a decaying orbit toward Aegis 7. Oh god. I have to get to engineering. There's no time. That tram station's offline. Unless... Here. Head back to the flight deck. I'll guide you from there. If this damage report's right, there's a shortcut to engineering. Oh, hold on. This is the same room we were in, right? Where we saw Nicole. Yeah, this is the same room. Let me check, because the objective just got changed, I guess. Go to the hangar bay. Oh, and we have to take the train here. All right. Okay, and now we can open this. Wonder what's inside. Hey, great, another node. Hopefully there is a bench somewhere nearby. What happened here? I can't remember this. Oh, hold on. I remember now. We uh, detonated that bomb. Schematics submitted. Item now available for purchase. A stasis pack. Restore stasis energy. Alright, yeah, we know that. Oh, hold on. Oh my god, this is a store. I I confused it with a working bench. Okay, here we go. As Hammond said, we're heading to uh, Aegis 7. We don't want that. Oh, these are locked. Medical. Hangar cargo. Tram control. Flight deck. Tram control. Alright, let's go. Now arriving at flight deck. Tram control. Oh, we're back. I recognize the door sound. That stupid door. The Dito guys. Max load 26 on the kilograms. They took the time to add that. That's great, right? Security reporting retrieved. Ah shit. Oh, this happened to Chen. Why do we see that? What's the reason for that? Is that because we just got that uh, captain's uh, rig? Apparently those things we've been killing the whole time are called uh, necromorphs. 
We don't know that yet at this point in the game, but I've been reading something and uh, apparently they are caught like that. This damage report says there's a broken cargo lift just beyond the hangar doors. I'll open them now. Entering zero gravity. Holy shit. Zero gravity, guys. The second time we're using this. It's crazy, right? Chapter 2 Intensive Care completed. We're going to Chapter 3 Course Correction. It's a bit uh, foggy. I can't see shit here. Oh my god, beautiful. This place, holy shit. Oh fuck, we're using our oxygen tank. Everything is going very slow now. Except for the time, that's just sticking. Ah oh shit, one of them. Two of them. I'm not sure if they can shoot stuff. I don't want to find out. Let's just go. You see those red things here? We can shoot them. In case... Uh, I mean... They would f be flying next to it, for example. Would be very convenient. Exiting zero gravity. Oh, his heartbeat is like going crazy. Clearance confirmed. Before going in this, I'm gonna recharge this thing. You never know what's inside. Hold on, something is written here. We are not punished for our sins, but by them. Okay. Great, very convenient, some resources. For who knows what's... Uh, Lying in front of us. Man, what is this? This thing here gives me a little bit of Resident Evil 7 vibes. I've seen this stuff everywhere. Growth. Engineering log. Danvers. Organic growth in engineering. Adding this to my maintenance priority request. Maybe something in writing will make them pay attention. That unidentified growth reported elsewhere on the ship has reached engineering. Not even medical knows what the hell this stuff is. It looks like someone threw their guts up all over the walls and smells about the same. It's spreading faster than we can cut it up, which is pretty disgusting in itself. Oh yeah, that's really disgusting. It's already busted the cargo lift and it's getting into the engine spoke. If we can't find a way to stop it soon, it will be all over the main engine chamber by the day after tomorrow. Meantime, I'm heading to the mining deck. They've got PFM 100s in storage for ice mining and they can spare the fuel. Maybe cauterizing this stuff will do the trick. Just hope it doesn't smell worse when it's on fire. Yeah, what is this stuff? It's like, I think there is a place where they grow these things. Like somewhere on the ship they're growing maybe necromorph or those small things we saw crouching over the floor. Like some babies. Like they are reproducing themselves. Immediately. 
I'm gonna save. Why can't I grab it? Oh, here we go. So what do we have here? Engine operations at risk. Caution. Oh my god. This is the engine room, right? Load diagnostic report. Okay, let's go on. Seeing you in the control room. Any news on the engines? Yeah, but it makes no sense. They're out of fuel. The centrifuge is offline. We're tethered to a four trillion ton payload. Without the engines, it's dragging us down to the planet. Can you handle it alone? Sure. Fix the centrifuge, get the fuel running, then do a full restart. But you'll need to stabilize our orbit from there. Standing by. Fast as you can, Isaac. Okay, let's see. Three objectives, refuel the engines. Is what we're gonna do first. Another store. I haven't seen any workbench uh, in a while. Would like to upgrade those things. Engineering log. Acting Chief Engineer Jacob Temple reporting. Christ, I still can't believe the chief is gone. It's all fallen apart since the captain died. Everyone down here is on their last nerve. We thought the rioting was the worst of it. Until those things came through the vents. Their faces. Fuck, those were my lunch buddies, Liz's friends, old boyfriends. And out of nowhere, the engines are screwed. Primary's laboring, we're hemorrhaging fuel. Fuck if I know why. I'm taking Danvers to the fuel depot to fix it. Gotta keep the team focused or we'll crack. Temple out. Okay, guys. Let's go. Ah shit, not again. Oh, it's just a suit. Oh my god, I thought it was a person hanging here. Like a real person. Machine shop. Okay, we're now in the engine room, I guess. Oh, what's that? Is that just a tool or is that something we can use to shoot bullets with? I like the song that came along with it. Oh, it's an industrial saw. But it can fire apparently. And we can shoot blades with it. Okay, that's crazy. Let's see. So R2 is primary fire, R1 is shoot blade. Whoa, crazy. I have to be careful to not confuse R1 and R2. I wanna see what's in the bathroom, yeah? Security request retrieved. We need help down in engineering. Ah, we just got some ripper blades for the saw. I know I should go... Ah, fuck! What's that? I saw it approaching, but a little bit too late. He hit me! You know, actually, the blades are very effective, I think, for uh, cutting through their... Uh, Limbs. We're finding everywhere lights now. That's actually great. 
and a working bench. Plasma cutter upgrade graph extended. A new special ability is now accessible. An additional power node has been salvaged. Man, we have four nodes, guys. Let's see. I think I'm going for the damage. And maybe a suit upgrade would be nice. But as I explained previous episode, we can't immediately upgrade these nodes. You have to upgrade uh, the first one following the one you already upgraded. So for this is it's uh, for this it's going to be the air upgrade. And maybe this one. And the pulse rival. I mean that one can stay behind, right? Try to upgrade everything uh, a little bit. So there is no one weak spot in my gear or weapons. That's the calibration room. But it's locked. So that's for the next time. Okay guys, we're going in the control station's room. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button. And I'll see you in the next episode guys.